Shemuel Shani, 2 Samuel 10. And it came to pass after this that the king of the children of Ammon died, and Hanun his son reigned in his stead. Then said David, I will show kindness unto Hanun, the son of Nechash, as his father showed kindness unto me. And David sent to comfort him by the hand of his servants for his father. And David's servants came into the land of the children of Ammon. And the princes of the children of Ammon said unto Hanun their lord, Do you think that David honors eth your father, that he has set comforters unto you? Has not David rather sent eth his servants unto you, to search eth the city, and to spy it out? and to overthrow it? Wherefore Hanun took Eth David's servants, and shaved off Eth the one half of their beards, and cut off Eth their garments in the middle, even to their buttocks, and sent them away. When they told it unto David, he sent to meet them, because the men were greatly ashamed. And the king said, Tarry at Yarecho until your beards be grown, and then return. And when the children of Amon saw that they stank before David, the children of Amon sent and hired at the Aramim of Beit Rechav, and at the Aramim of Sova, twenty thousand footmen, and at of King Maaka, a thousand men. And the Vaish Tov, twelve thousand men. And when David heard of it, he sent Eth Yoav, and Eth all the host of the mighty men. And the children of Ammon came out, and put the battle in array at the entering in of the gate. And the Aramim of Sova, and of Rechav, and Daish Tov, and Maaka, were by themselves in the field. When Yoav saw that the front of the battle was against him, before and behind, he chose of all the choice men of Yasharael and put them in array against the Aramim. And at the rest of the people he delivered into the hand of the Avishai, his brother, that he might put them in array against the children of Ammon. And he said, If the Aramim be too strong for me, then you shall help me. But if the children of Ammon be too strong for you, then I will come and help you. Be of good courage, and let us play the men for our people and for the cities of our Elohim. And Yahuwah do that which seems him good. And Yoav drew nigh, and the people that were with him unto the battle against the Aramim, and they fled before him. And when the children of Ammon saw that the Aramim were fled, then fled they also before Avishai, and entered into the city. So Yoav returned from the children of Ammon, and came to Yarushalayim. And when the Aramim saw that they were smitten before Yashra'el, they gathered themselves together. And Hadar Ezer sent and brought out at the Aramim that were beyond the river. And they came to Chelam and Shovach. The captain of the host of Hadar Ezer went before them. And when it was told David, he gathered at all Yashara'el together and passed over at the Yardan, and came to Chelam. And the Aramim set themselves in array against David, and fought with him. And the Aramim fled before Yashadael, and David slew the men of seven hundred chariots of the Aramim, and forty thousand horsemen, and at smote Shovach, the captain of their host, who died there. 
And when all the kings that were servants to Hadar Azar saw that they were smitten before Yashadael, they made peace with Eth Yashadael and served them. So the Aramim feared to help Eth the children of Amon any more.